On his last day in the country, former United States President Barack Obama brunched with a group of Māori women, uh, business and community leaders. Twenty members of the Wahine Toa program were hosted by former United States Ambassador to New Zealand Mark Gilbert and his wife Nancy Gilbert this morning. The private briefing was Mr Obama's final appointment on his three-day tour. To Mane Kōrehi reporter John Boynton has more. Linnell Hudia is New Zealand's first Māori patent lawyer. This morning she joined a formidable lineup of Māori wahine leaders at a private lunch with Barack Obama. She first met Nancy Gilbert in 2015 and says the brunch with the former president was inspirational. It was pretty amazing, it was pretty awesome, really inspiring and yeah, just overwhelmed to have this opportunity to be in his presence, yeah, really cool. Wahine Toa was set up by Mrs Gilbert in 2015 while Mr Obama was still president to give emerging Māori female leaders a voice. So he talked about community development and growing our future leaders as well. That's really important for the continuation, particularly for Māori. Mr Obama told the women they have the ability to be inspirational around the world. I think just keep doing what we're doing is really the message that he gave. He was really impressed with the, uh, you know, the calibre of women in the room, how wonderful they are, what they're doing. Speaking after the brunch, Nancy Gilbert said she may have given the woman a few too many instructions before meeting the president. I was a bit strict beforehand, um, warning them not to talk too long and not to interrupt the others and not to repeat what someone else said. He sort of instilled some fear into them, so they were more afraid of me than of him. The reins of the program have now been handed to Gail Brown, the wife of current United States Ambassador Scott Brown. Plans are now in place to expand the program to include Pacifica women leaders. But Nancy says she was proud to see how the 20 women who first entered the program in 2015 had flourished. I truly felt like a mother sort of giving birth or having a little birdie and giving it wings and watching them all fly away. So they were great and it was a really great honour and a privilege. Barack Obama, Nancy says, reminded the woman no issue is too small. If you have an issue that's in the grassroots and in your neighbourhood, that's the good place to start. And once you repair problems at the lowest level, you can work your way up the food chain. Mark Gilbert says he was impressed by the stories the woman shared with the president. The women of Wahine Toa were so excellent. They told the story of their lives and growing up in New Zealand. And he's sure former First Lady Michelle Obama would be impressed with the work Wahine Toa does as well. You want to talk about a laugh. The president said this last night, so I'm sure a lot of people heard it, but he brought it up again this morning that he was here on a reconnaissance trip for the First Lady, for Michelle, and he hopes to be able to, to bring her back. Mo te hōtaka o te ahipōnei, ko John Boynton aho.